Okay, welcome to section 11 of the crystal mixing tutorial and the final tutorial in this series. I gave the song a pretty good listen over the last week and decided the vocals needed some more work, the delay effect was a little too strong, and overall volume needs balanced again, so that's what we'll do now. up the stars and send it all to you with the moon if it makes you happy if it makes you smile I'd wrap up the sun you came here all alone with big city dreams and nothing to lose your family Okay, I'm happy with that. That cleaned up the vocals and balanced them a little better. Next is the um, guitar and keyboard parts. Though the way they're playing the ending is fine. I just uh, I just wanted to make, make it a little tighter so everything hits on the downbeat. So what we're going to do is go in and edit their position at the very end of the song. Okay, let's get the vocals muted out here. And then make sure our ruler is on bars and beats. We'll go ahead and mark the, about where we want to um, place our edits. And these are the two tracks that we're going to be editing. Okay, now we hit 2 to select our scissors and make our cuts. And then hit 1 to go back to our regular arrow. And mark the area and drag the tracks back, just eyeballing them to the line. And this is easier said than done because Crystal don't do an, a redraw as soon as you move it. you got to wait for the graphics to catch up. Just eyeball them as close as you can. Let's see how this is going to work. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Now that we know the um, other tracks are not hitting right on the downbeat, we'll move our marker line up and then adjust the uh, guitar and keys up to it. Yep, I like that a lot better. Let's do some fade outs on these tracks because I caught a little bit of popping as they played back. That sounds good. Let's give the whole track a final listen, shall we?
Okay, let's put a fork in that. I'll call it done. I'm very happy with the way this has turned out. So let's go ahead and get these bounced and ready to export. I hope you've enjoyed watching this series as much as I enjoyed making it, and uh, hopefully you'll take away a few ideas for when you're working in Crystal. As you can tell, you can get totally acceptable results if you just plan ahead, take your time, and use your ears. On the Home Production Studio site, I'll post a link to a folder that will include three mixes in the WAV format so you can hear them in full fidelity. This is Smurf from OpenEye Music. Hope you enjoyed this series of tutorials, and happy tracking!